Hello, what's up and welcome to the channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to use a peaceful control on your PC so that you can play your uh, your, your games uh, on your PC while you play while you're emulating as as what I actually supposed to mean to know uh, to, to mean is that you can use your PS3 controller to play actually you your PC games and plus your uh, emulator uh, games as well like as a, as an example on CMU on uh, RPCS3 on Citra and so on and so on but before we go into the tut into the tutorial I just want to let you know what is actually very important that when you're using your PS4 controller I do highly recommend to use the original cable that came with it when you buy the controller so by using actually third party con uh, third party connection connection uh, cables or uh, anything that is uh, that is actually uh, gonna work with this controller does not gonna work probably with the program that I gonna show you in the this tutorial I uh, experienced it for myself I got always disconnected and uh, with time it's always told me I had uh, my USB is not working properly till I actually figured out that when you're using the original cable there will be no problems no disconnection what of what what elf error with anything further ado guys, let's hop in this, uh, into my desktop and let me show you how you can connect your PS4 DualShock controller on your PC. Alright guys, as we are on my desktop, the first thing I want to tell you is that whatever you do, don't connect your PS4 controller to your PC till we are having the program all set up and the drivers good to go then in the end you can connect your PS4 controller and it's going to work probably with anything you do guys let's hop in to my uh, tutorial so the first thing you're going to do is search, search for whatever uh, browser you use to google the net I do google chrome it's the most optimal for me so the first thing you're gonna, gonna need to do is just type in ds for um, Oh, sorry for window it's gonna pop up right here as you might see just click on it and you will be guided to DS4 Windows by Jays to Kings shout out to him uh, you will be at this site right here if you want any any information or you want maybe to support the developer with a donation or whatever then uh, this is up to you but if you want to do only don download the program then just go download now click on it you will be guided to this site. On this site, guys, just go for DSO Windows Zip. It's going to be always the latest one. Click on it and wait. It's going to be downloaded. It's not going to take much time. It is a, actually a small, a small file. Click on the file. Show the folder. Uh, close the window and drag the file, the folder right here. Close this because you don't gonna need it anymore. The second thing you're gonna do is uh, just uh, right click on the folder, save and zip and extract files. Click OK and you're good to go. Drag the folder to the middle of your window, of your desktop, sorry. Double click it and go for this for Windows because you're not gonna go need to update it because it's already up to date. Wait a little bit and you're gonna be prop with do you want to allow this app from unknown publish to make change to your device yes just click on yes and don't you worry I've been using this program for quite a while so now here what I'm gonna, gonna tell you is very important if you're using Windows 8 and above uh, Windows 8 and above then your only driver you're gonna need for this program to work probably on your PC is uh, step only step one install the DS4 driver but if you're having our Windows 7 and below then you actually gonna need both of drivers but for the purpose of this video guys I'm gonna show you how to install both of the drivers for me in my case I've been using I have a Windows 10 so I only actually need uh, step one so just click on it and as you might see you will get some um, some more some extra folders but they will be disappearing as in the same time when the drive first driver is, is installed 
The second driver guys, you're gonna need as I told you when you have Windows 7 and below. Unfortunately, the link for uh, for this driver, when, when you actually back in the day would click on it, it will actually guide you to the site that you're gonna need. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. Uh, so um, just just what you're gonna need is minimize this uh, this window, close this uh, folder, and uh, minimize this too, if you want to. Um, go to the Korean Windows Windows browser once again. I did. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below where you can get the driver for the step two, while when you're using our uh, Windows Seven and below, of course. So just I just gonna guide you to this website. It's called um microsoft.com as accessories blah 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 what is so here is on this website guys we're gonna download the xbox 260 controller for windows what this does is actually that is mimicking the windows 360 controller on your ps4 while you're using this program so for the for the for the windows users that using windows 7 and below and below you're gonna need uh, this driver as well so it depends on if you're having windows 7 with 32 bit then you uh going going for this one and if you have a windows 7 64 bit just change it as you might see you have other uh, options as well as i told you and below like vista xp and windows 7 let's pretend i have windows 7 64 bit I just select the operation system that I got, select the driver language, it's English, and just click on Xbox 360 X3 software and it's gonna download right here. Just do the same thing, show in folder, close this window and drag it out here. So I'm not gonna install this because I don't need it because as I told you in the beginning of this video I have a Windows 10 so I only need the first step to do to actually to, to do to keep it working i want to see if i can get so i only need step one but if you having a windows 7 and below you're gonna need step one and step two so i'm gonna insert x actually for the purpose of this video just double click it it will tell you do you want to allow this app to make change to your device xbox you're gonna access 1.2 just click yes accept and agree to the agreement, ag agreement, nothing, something, <laughs> sorry. Next, and uh, wait for it to install. It's not gonna take a, lo a long time for my other time. All right, the installation is done and, and, and it's probably installed. Installation complete. You have successfully installed the Microsoft Xbox 360 series software. Please guide, blah, blah, blah. Don't give, don't, don't care about this. Just click finish and uh, you're good to go. Just click finish and uh, I think you're good to go. So what you need to do now, just go again back back to the DS4 Windows folder, and what you, what I do I would do advise to do, click on the DS4 window, and right click and just uh, what I always do is I pin to the taskbar, or what you can do as well, just send to your desktop making a shortcut. But I do recommend pin to taskbar. Close this and put the folder wherever you want to, whenever you want, as example to use um, um, like your controller for your emulators. The only thing, the, the only negative thing about this program is it's not a big deal, but is that you have to click on it like this. This window will pop up. Now, when you now when you have in this window, we did all the drivers and whatever. Now we need to connect PS4 controller to our PC. So I'm gonna do this right now. And if everything works probably, it's you're gonna hear a pop-up noise. As you might see on my on my screen, the device is ready. While this current controller is set up and ready to use or to go. So we're waiting a little bit now. I'm gonna click on it as you might see let's see there is wireless controller it's connected let's close this and uh, so so what you need to do now I think if I'm not wrong just stop and start there we go by stop and start guys clicking the controller will be connected as you might see is shining red and you can change the color it depends on how you want as you might see Kazite games this is my youtube channel where I do play my games and whatnot LPs and 
so on and so far. Uh, I'm gonna actually make the window bigger. So what you can do now is you can go to profiles, double click it and you can see your controller right here. So now look, watch my controller while I actually, uh, while I actually change the bars. So you might see the colors, oh, does the color change? It's supposed to change actually. But sometimes when you uh, set up, when you fresh setting it up, it's gonna, it's gonna like freeze. But as you heard right now, um, what, when I did actually click on my taskbar and open the program, you show it that it has connected. As you might see, uh, on the program here it's red and on my controller it's red as well. So uh, what you need to do actually is sometimes you have just to go uh, to edit. And uh, let's see, can, does it change? Now it's changed as you might see, now it's yellow. While I changing it, it's yellow. And while I change it now to purple, it's purple. So sometimes when you're trying to change the color and it doesn't change, uh, just uh, sometimes stop start or you just uh, close the whole program and start it again. And it will pro uh, work probably. As you might see, you can have which color you want to. You can, uh, while charging, you can uh, be, keep it normal, pulse, rainbow, and it will actually do that. And uh, yeah, you're actually uh, good to go. And when you want to use the program, just minimize it and uh, it will be actually here, as you might see. And uh, you're actually good to go. And with actually showing you that the control actually works, I'm gonna open my... Um, same you emulator. It's gonna take it quite a while. Open Breath of the Wild and play it actually. Let's wait a little bit. It's gonna take time. It always takes time when I want to open Breath of the Wild. Like, there it is. It has opened. Mario Kart. Okay, let's refresh you actually. Okay, Ma there we go. I was like thinking, where is Mario Kart at? We have, as you might see, have Mario Kart 8, Pepper, Pepper Mario, Color Splash, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm gonna start Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And show you actually does actually work and in the previous tutorials I showed you how to actually set up how oh, there was a driver update it's gonna take longer time than I expected to what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna actually exit out of it and uh, start a game that doesn't have this much uh, sh compiler I'm sorry so um, let's actually start uh, you know what so Mario Color Splash actually I never started before, so I'm not really sure if... Okay, it actually works. There you go, I can hear it. I'm gonna do a tour on this too, because I know it's not gonna work probably right now. When it comes to a special cutscene and whatnot. Let's see. Alright, as you might see, press the A button, and the A button for me is here, right? You can see that. Come on. Ah, there we go. All right. As you might see, it works, and there's the cut. There it starts and whatnot. So with this whole thing, guys, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day. And whatever else, keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emu. And if you like the video, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel. Peace.